Once you leave, no, did you get what you were looking for? I don't know. I really don't know. Standing by. I have two guns. Need something? My services are expensive. Okay, so she can use this. Oh god. Because last time I bought stuff, nobody could use it. Oh. I don't want to use all that, so. Nothing to <gasps> Thank I'm you. Sorry. Yay, we can finally get this and claim this. And now Billy's got his thing. Know what I want. Standing by. Need ready for. I have two guns, so double the accuracy. Thank you, Billy. That's all of them good and Gucci. I have two guns, so double the accuracy. That's all of them good and Gucci. Um, we'll probably go turn these coins in as well. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Greta Bread. I don't know if I did my intro yet or not, but we just got two new W engines, one for Nicole, and we got one as a reward for Billy. Oh, kick it. Stop kicking. 25 great items for you and all. Thank you. Give me any more items for you? Let's go advance the story. And then we gotta go try to level up some stuff. Nice warm bed. It's getting late. I hope we don't have to run into any more trouble. Rest till morning. I did goof up some of my videos when I uploaded them. Uh, I, I thought I up, up, uploaded all the videos last time of the previous VODs, not the new VODs that I just got, and I uploaded the new VOD that I didn't mean to upload. It's because today's been so peaceful, I can't sleep. What? Might as well put on the videotape. Did get some new tapes, so that's very good. I want to put everything on, just if I, if, I, if I was in the comfort of my own home. The movie is interesting, but the acting is just terrible. The movie already know it backwards. I can get another one. Question, Master. Are you looking for a late night video to watch? Or you don't scare me like that. Do you have any suggestions, Almighty Fairy? Affirmative. A prepared appropriate video recommendation. Furthermore, the Master's choice of words is 
commendable. All right, let's see what fairy got to recommend. Here are the videos I've selected for you, all suitable for late night viewing. This is my personal <laughs> diary. Fairy, this is an invasion of privacy. Objective. Objection. Based on your argument, this is one of the services I should provide with you. Never mind. It's done now. I guess looking back on what we've been through couldn't hurt. Soldier 11, the agent's story, Mole in the Hole 1, has been recorded and reviewed in the video archive. Master, please review the new category and video. Pick up the videotape and select the agent story you'd like to watch. It begins. Let me just get a drink of water real quick. Can't go super late tonight. I have work tomorrow. And I still haven't eaten dinner yet. It's 11.35, so maybe after this it might be time to end the VOD. And the stream. I know I just started this VOD, but I mean, yeah. I will continue to record more agent stories. Please look for him. Master, would you like to start watching the video? Yes, let's confirm. Let's watch. Let's watch. Let's see what goodies we got. Maybe some new screenshots. I don't know. One day outside the cafe on 6th Street in Janice Quarter, New Erda, the kind of harmless video store manager invited by a long-term business partner and intellectual broker Shepard is here to discuss an extremely important meeting in detail. Listen, old friend. You're the only one who can save my skin this time. Or I might have to quit this line of work. Calm down, I'm listening. I'll cut to the chase. I got my hands on a big job at the expense of offering my peers. But I've been having a hard time securing a proxy suitable for it. A lot of things are at stake for this job, and the client wants me to meet the proxy personally. Can you help? So I have, of course, created a foolproof fake identity to protect your personal information. You already made it so many preparations. Can I still say no? For me to rebuild my proxy maze, uh, gotta scratch each other's backs. How about you meet the client? At the parking lot behind the video store. How you recognize the client, you'll recognize her when you see her. Then don't forget the code words. Flame Thunder. Sign of the name at the random play store, video store, parking lot on 6th Street. Alright. Parking lot behind you, the store at night. It's a familiar place, but you must pretend to be arriving here for the first time. An unfamiliar young girl, emitting an imposing presence, is standing in the middle of the parking lot. Her sharp gaze sweeps towards you. She must be the client Shepard was talking about. Ah, it's connected. Hello, can you hear me, Wise? Uh, no. The earpiece you put in your ear before coming to the parking lot emits a familiar sound as your relative watches on the security camera from within the video store in, ch in case something goes wrong. Don't worry. Barry and I will make sure you're safe. Just focus on the client. Oh, and don't forget the code word Shepard gave you. Flame Thunder. Certain functions may be disabled during agent stories. If you need, you can leave any time pass. Okay, you got it. You're gonna walk very slowly, because this is a movie, and they always walk slowly towards the hero. She's a bit scary. She's breathing heavy. Flame. Thunder. <laughs> Two minutes and 55 seconds. That's how late you are for our meeting. Whoa, come down there, Chief. In the Defense Force, disciplinary action would be warranted. Whoa. As a penalty, 175 push ups or 87.5 one handed push ups would be required. 0 0.5 of a hand push up. Can you show me what 0.5 of a one-handed push-up is supposed to look like? In the defense <laughs> force, asking such silly questions would warrant double punishment. Dang! But it's not my duty to oversee the conduct of private citizens, nor is it my purpose in coming here. You're the proxy Shepard recommended? Remember, this conversation never happened, you've never met me, and what I'm about to say is confidential. You got it, lady. 
You can call me Soldier 11 of the Defense Forces Obsidian Division. Shepard has given me your information, so it's only right I'm upfront about my identity. How is just telling us a code name being up front? You must have a real name, right? Lucy? Marie. Lucy Marie. Lucy Marie? <laughs> Those sound like names you would hear in an old civilization cowboy film. Is this a reflection of your sense of humor, second assistant? Be quiet. The client <laughs> is about to explain the commission. Shepard tells me you're a highly skilled wanderer from the south with no local ties. Previously active under the name Crimson Twilight. Crimson Twilight. I'm a bit reluctant to admit, but that's correct. It's me. Uh oh. A cowboy name is better than some of those you hear in old civilization cartoons, right? To keep it brief, my <laughs> mission is simple. Catch a mole. Ooh, mole. We've recently identified a spy among our unit from a nearby rebel force who isn't yet aware his identity has been exposed. Uh oh. My superiors want me to use this spy to locate the rebels and eliminate them all at once. You got it, pal. I will execute the plan myself and pretend to defect from the defense force to make contact with the spy. Uh -oh. My fake defection is going well so far. I've made contact with them discreetly, but they've yet to completely trust me. But the operation isn't without merit. We've learned the spy is a great admirer of an industry-renowned proxy. With that proxy's support, he'd be willing to take uh -oh. the next step immediately to involve me in his secret missions, which will allow me to meet his superiors. Is and it me? that's where you come in. I need you to pretend to be this proxy and help me follow the spy's instructions. Can you do this, Crimson Darkness? I think you forgot my code name. Excuse me, but my actual code name is Crimson Twilight. I don't know much about civilians. But even I've heard the name, Phaethon. <coughs> Unexpected answer. This is gonna be trouble. Pretending to be Phaethon. That's a job Phaethon has yet to take on. <laughs> Searching, pretending to be myself, online. Zero results found. Related results. I sell myself. I hit myself. I kill... How Whoa. Is this little fairy? How I got dark. How live without you? Is everything all right, Crimson Gloom? You look troubled. <laughs> Are you sure you remember my name? It'd help if you could remember my name. I understand you likely feel a lot of pressure having to pretend to be Phaethon. But Shepard would stake his career on your abilities. So I know you won't let me, the Defense Force, and the people of oh. New Eridu down. So relax. It's the other dude. It's the hacker, I bet. Uh, it'd be weirder to relax after hearing that, right? I've posted the encrypted commission details on Internaut. That's how you normally do things, right? I'll contact you after you've checked the details and accepted the commission. Got it. Pretending to be faith on is a difficult task. Do you have any experience pretending to be someone else? Sometimes when I'm gaming, I pretend to be the opposite sex. Is that it? That's somewhat alarming. Return to the store. Alright. Oh. No. Oh. So when did this take place? Good job, Wise. Soldier 11 didn't seem to realize you live here. I never thought we'd get a commission from the new Eridu Defense Force. Not to mention something top secret like catching a mole. Gross. It's bound to be dangerous. What should we do? Do you want to accept it, or should we decline and leave Shepard to his own luck? Fortune fo favors the bold. Fortune favors the bold. Let's accept it. That's true. The I've said that before. Already uploaded to the proxy network. Check it out when you make up your mind. the wrong one. Is it this one? Oh, it's this one. I'm dumb. We sneezed. Oh, okay. Standing by. Need some ready for nothing to standing by. Um... Need nothing to await. Need ready for combat. 
do I? Nothing needs standing. I have two guns. Ready for nothing to fear. The cunning hairs are here. There we go. Deploy. We're gonna deploy, chat. After agreement is just in time through the HDD system, Soldier 11 headed to the Hollow Repair to contact Rebels. The spy will come online in five seconds. He goes by the name Mr. Mole. <laughs> five, four, three, two. Mr. Mole, I have brought Phaethon. I'm sure you're close by. If it's convenient, why don't we discuss this in person so we can begin the operation immediately? I want to leave the Defense Force as soon as possible. I plan to buy a black currant farm with your payment. Ooh. Then spend the rest of my days with my canine siren maid in the tranquil countryside. What? That's some weird backstory they gave you. Uh, dog siren maid? You're very quiet. I thought you'd always admired Phaethon. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Through remote communication, but uh, I smell deception. Gross. Uh, there's no free lunch in this city. Uh oh. A legendary proxy like Phaethon has had numerous achievements throughout their career. <laughs> there's no way someone like that would work with a nobody like me. Not on a trivial chore like stealing military info. Well, oh, I'm a bit pressed in my luck. You called that trivial? If we're lying, and I'm not Phaethon, may my instant noodles always be missing the seasoning packets for the rest of my life. Uh, what? Fire Lizard Inferno extra spicy cup noodles without its seasoning packet is like, like a soldier without their weapon, general, or homeland. <laughs> Unimaginable. We understand your sincerity now. Ba -ba -ba wait a moment. I'm just not feeling it. <laughs> The Defense Force is going to conduct weapons testing in this hollow. To show your good faith, I want you to help me set up military transmitters around the area. You talk the talk, but if you want me to believe you're the real Phaethon, you'll have to walk the walk. You got we need boss. to deploy transmitters here. We have three target locations in total. Okay. It's up to you where to place them. Those are locked. Okay, hundred only. Master, we deploy the transmitter. Go, boss. Are you arrived at the location, Chris? But I am. At least deny it. A clean and efficient job. Well done. Phaethon saves the... Dispelling a client's doubts with mere words should be a sin... I'm not your therapist. I'm charging extra for psychological consultations. <laughs> Mr. Mole. What have you got to say? I'm hurt. You're being quite rude. Despite me putting in all this effort to get Phaethon here. Suspicious and probing. That's no way to show respect yeah. to such a legendary proxy. In fact, I really didn't want to bring it up, but I paid a staggering price to get faith in here. So I want this collaboration to work yeah. more than anyone else here. <clears throat> right, Faithen? Yes, I was very, very impressed. impressed. Especially when you did half of a one-handed push-up. 
What? Sergeant, you're right. I should have known. I would somewhat like faith and want to work with me. I never would have guessed it was you, Sergeant, making such a sacrifice. My attitude. The cost isn't important. It's the result that matters. Such is the life of a soldier. There's no time to lose, Faithen. Time to place the next beacon. He's not buying it. This Mr. Mole guy. He might still have some doubts, but he seems to trust us for now. All thanks to Soldier Eleven's help. You're doing good, Wise. Keep it up. Careful. Betrayal is our enemy's nature. We gotta beat this dude. We gotta beat this guy up, Chet. Ooh, we get to play as her now. Got him! Gotta hear you monsters of doom! Extracting carrot data. Ooh. How am I still missing money from that? Go ahead. Soldier 11 took the transmitter. You do Soldier it. 11 returned the transmitter. Continue the installation. Enough. No need to talk. Just do it. Ferry now computing. Setup complete. Let's go to the next location. Okay, let's take this dude out. 404. Your special. Oh, don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. This is an easier thing, but Jeebus. Ooh, what do you do? I didn't really need that, but. Sure, there's nothing I didn't miss up here.
A secret path. Extracting carrot data. Wow. Okay. Mr. Mole has been here and found nothing. Master, Mr. Mole seems to be lying. Uh oh. Other people's stuff. Memo, this is private room number 15. Crossed out. Military assets. Trapped. Ooh. Memo, this... Okay. Let's get this one real quick, and then we'll find out on both sides. What, what side? Even though I missed out on coins, but that's alright. On both sides. Uh oh. Whew. Target point number three. Deploy the transmitter. Okay. Based on past experience, Master, I suggest confirming if Soldier 11 has other arrangements. Soldier 11 is wiping her goggles. <laughs> Fairy now computing. Comes on. Hold on, Mel Melody. Finished so fast. And with such skill and such finesse. My word. There's no faking that. Oh, 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 I want to run over and worship him. Gross. The crown that faith is set foot on. Wait. There's too much at stake to make such a quick decision about their true identity. And I'm not sure why, but I'm pretty sure I can smell a rat. Ah, uh, yes. Uh oh. Mm, smelly. Oh, rats. He's got a smell finish, gross. You're still connected. Quick reminder, you're still connected? Yeah. I hear a strange noise. Is there a problem with the connection? Let's take it that way. Yes, let's just assume it is as you say. I can understand the client being occasionally mistrustful. Faith, uh, proxy, you understand? It's only human to be curious, after all. It's only human to be curious. After all, as Faithen. Faithen? Faithen is a living legend. They know everything possible about the Hollows. Yeah. Even school kids in New Era do know that. Big words. Not even the Hollow Investigative Association says they know everything about the Hollows. Mr. Mole. Mr. Mole, you smell. Uh. Since we're conversing in real time, uh -oh. you must also be in this Hollow, and possibly pretty close to us as well. Huh. That's just common sense. Believe it or not, my years of experience tell me that this hollow is about to become active. Ethereal activity uh -oh. is about to skyrocket. How come? The association didn't send out any ether warnings. Mr. Mole has no idea. Fairy's a lot faster than the association. <laughs> uh oh. My pizza's burning. No! Association based purely on experience. Now that's what I call legendary. Uh oh. Those are ethereal tracks ahead. Get ready for a fight. You got it. Keep an eye out on Mr. Keep an eye out on your end as well, Mr. Mole. Do you you're concerned about my safety? Oh, my face is so flushed, it's heating up the whole hollow. This guy's a pervert. Okay. 
Then consider taking care of those ethereals as the marvelous conclu- I'm going to hang up. Sorry to bother you. Ah, what phrase Gross. could ever befit your mighty reputation? I'll be sure to give all of it to you personally after battle. All right, the day's last challenge. We got a boss. Go. This VOD might be a little bit longer, chat. They were all dead except for that one. God, she's awesome. Come on, Bang Boo, little buddy. Piece of cake for Phaethon. It is. I think I've earned your trust now. So you believe in now? Am I? Uh, am I dreaming? I'm working with the real Phaethon right now. You got a boss. Uh, it's like I've been crawling in the gloom my <coughs> whole life. <coughs> then today, the sun sheds a beam of light on my face. It's been creepy. Calm down, Mr. Mole. Now that that's done, I suppose our actual mission can proceed. <laughs> exactly. We'll take care of things on our end. Wait for me to contact you. Be quick. I'll give the sergeant her farm-like dream, and I'll try to get the highest payment for Phaeton. Yay! <laughs> now that we're done talking business, can I ask you something? Was it really you who infiltrated the Tops Vault through a sub-hollow? And then at the old Institute site, that perfect exit... Some matters should remain a secret. Apologies. I can't offer such information at this time. Uh oh. Oh, okay. See you next time then. I'll miss you. Gross. I feel like taking a hot shower. Scrubbing the grossness off me. Ugh, this guy's a pervert. Uh, I have a favor to ask. Next time we meet, uh, can I please get your autograph? Or uh, could you record a wake-up oh, call? God for no. Your little Did he just hang up? Did he hang up? How rude. What a loud mouth. He's a lot more chatty than I expected after he let his guard down. Yep. Anyway, let's get out of the hollow. You got it, lady. We got all the rewards. Once this this is up, Chet, I'm gonna be ending the stream in. That was a Abad. pretty smooth escape. Smooth? Pretending to be Faith is quite challenging, actually. That went better than expected. I didn't use even half of the lines I prepared beforehand. Like Faithin can sneak into anywhere with complete stealth. Not even a door sensor or infrared faucet could detect Faithin. <laughs> Thought we agreed to drop that line. 
That doesn't sound cool at all. Calling that a compliment is an overstatement. I was worried when Shepard endorsed you, but you're pretty good. Well done, Proxy. I'll contact you when the spy starts to move. You got it. Close. What are the what's the last one that I gotta do? Oh uh, he hasn't showed up yet. Do, do, do. Welcome back, Weiss. Both you and Soldier Eleven put in some hard work dealing with that sneaky Mr. Mole. Good job. Luckily, we're the real deal. There were a few moments when things got really dicey. We did it. Waiting for the some props. Well, I guess you've earned yourself some compliments this time. After all, pretending to be ourselves was something we've never done before, and I think you pull it off brilliantly. Soldier Eleven also did a great job acting along. Does having a poker face give you an advantage in lying? Also, next time, I'll try to keep a straight face and say, Nope, I've never had seen a carrot cake in the fridge, just to see how it plays out. But I'm still a bit worried. Mr. Mole is quite skeptic. Gaining his trash won't be easy. To be honest, even if he ap uh, appeared completely trusting today, that obsession with Phaethion... Kind of creepy. Right. I always had a nagging feeling something was off. Is he waiting for us to slip and blow our cover? We won't let him have his way next time. I'll be there to back you up and help us nail perfection. Soldier 11 will reach out to us to use Shepard's private message before the next operation. For the time being, let's take some rest. Take a break and live the story. Yay! So when did all this happen? Alrighty, chat. We will get the other mission done later. But ladies and gentlemen, my name is Redford. Thank you for stopping on by. This VOD is going to be about 10 minutes longer than it should be. But that's alright. That's okay. Uh, because uh, we had to complete a mission. And thank you everybody for stopping on by. Watching my VODs. As always, I appreciate it. And I will see everyone in the next one. Till next time. Bye-bye.